Hey guys, it's Rob here. Thanks for watching. This is a market update for real estate nationally in Connecticut and in Hartford County. This is for uh, 7 22 So end of July. Uh, some interesting statistics here. Uh, so nationally, uh, active inventory. We got some new um, statistics here. Active inventory in 2016, which was the peak of the last few years, over a million units. And then it just slowly and steadily decreased through 2021 to 310,000. And again, I'm gonna put these uh, numbers in my description. Uh, you can check those out. And then, so 310,451 uh, in 2021, it just kept going down. Uh, 2021 is obviously the anomaly year. 2022 went up to 535,153. Uh, Actually, that's projected for this year. I believe we're at 507,000-ish right now. So that's an interesting statistic uh, showing traffic nationally. This is all national right now. Um, in July, it was actually less than it was in January which January, is, we all know, is the slowest year in real estate, so, slowest month. So that was also the same in Hartford County and Connecticut, uh, by the way. Um, so as far as seasonality goes, this that decline in showings is going to go right through February. Right through the winter in the Northeast, we experience a decline every week. So it's not going to go up, showing traffic that is. Um, from here on out. Uh, median home prices. Um, I believe I have a little visual here for you. So this is uh, median home prices. You can see it. I'm a visual person, so I like, to, I like to see it. I know a lot of you other people are too. Hopefully you can see that. You can see that steady incline, and then at the end, it's starting to sort of tail off, which is where we're at right now. So again, um, <clears throat> uh, so median home prices, uh, 2019 at 335, 2020 at 355. So up, up again, 2021 to 399, almost 400,000. 2022 right now, uh, it is peaked. Looks like it's peaked at 451, um, which is only actually f like 4,000 off the season week. But anyway, so that's a that's interesting. Um, and also uh, national inventory. I do have another visual here for that. So this is showing inventory nationally since 2000. You can see since 2015 until now. Hopefully you guys can see that. Pretty cool. That's interesting info. Uh, and I just told you what that was. And I will put that in the description. Um, so, like I said, we're projected to get to about 535, 536 or 7,000 units in 2022 by the end um which as you can see is historically not crazy but it's just much more than what it's been in the last couple of years um so a lot of people have been talking to me about price reductions and you know getting nervous about that uh both agents and just people who i know um you know everyone's interested in real estate ever since covid hit and made everything really crazy and then people started making money um, and obviously the national narrative on the news is a lot of it's around uh, real estate so what we're seeing is what we're taking away about the price reductions is anybody who's been in real estate and been through um, any kind of shift which is what we're in now what is really happening is both sellers and agents are confused by the information and 
everyone's trying to get a foothold on what's going on. Um, it is no longer uh, easy to tell what's going on in the market. It's really challenging to be able to tell people what they can get for it. Um, in the end, it's the market that tells you what your property is worth. Um, and then after that, the appraiser will uh, confirm or deny that, and then you go from there. But anyway, it's basically confusion because we're in a shift. Uh, don't put too much energy and time into trying to use that price reduction stat to determine where we're at in the market. It's two separate things. So uh, just want to go over quick. This is what's going on in Hartford County. Um, this information is all around the peak, which is really interesting to me uh, to see where we're peaking here. So 2000, April 2021, we peaked uh, for showings, 5,751. And then we went to... Um, just between April and July, we went all the way down to 4,212. In July this year, um, 3,545 right now. So it continues the decline, showings that is, um, which I'm sure has a lot to do with the fact that there's just not that much to show. Um, even though there's more, still not enough. Available inventory, we have COVID 2020. Uh, we had 3612, 3612. And then peak last year, this time, 2462. And then right now, available inventory is down to 1376. Again, the same as what January would show. So very low still. Even though nationally you can see it going up, it's Harvard County low. Uh, new listings, 356 uh, in the year of COVID. Uh, 327 um, last year and 230 new listings came in the market this this month this year so um, we also have the under contract what's uh, demand 375 in uh, the year of COVID 2020 uh, and then it went to the peak which was last year this time 415, so 375 to 415 under contract. And now we're down, and this is not what we've been seeing uh, all that much uh, over the last few months, but it's down uh, to 354. So that's an indicator that we're possibly starting to level out here. Well, I mean, the peak looks like it's passed. So starting to level out, Totally great market to sell right now still. Um, so, I mean, if you guys want to know any specific information on where you live and given your situation, give us a call, 860-982-7696, that's me. Or call Rebecca, 860-833-6795. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope this was helpful for you guys.